Okay, so I told you guys that I would go ahead and share with you guys her one month update. And I'm gonna do it kind of like vlog style just because I really don't have time to just sit here for however long it's gonna take me. So I'm probably gonna be sitting on some clips and standing and moving and she's probably gonna be waking up here soon. So I'm gonna try to get this all done before she wakes up. And you might see my kids peek in and out in these clips too because it's just mom life. Okay, so I'm gonna start with like products that I love that she has been using. One of the products is... <laughs> okay, so some products that I, I've been loving is like the swing that she's in. I was looking for like a portable swing, small, because if you guys have seen my other videos, we don't have a playroom for the kids. The living room is basically taken over by their toys. So I didn't want anything that was really big or something that I would have to make more space for. So I got a portable swing. The downside to it is it's battery operated, which I mean, it can it can be a bad thing, but then it could be a good thing because you don't have to worry about the actual plug. But it takes C batteries. Yeah. She's, she's been using it for almost two months and we've only had to change the batteries once. So I guess that's not bad. And she's in it Yee. most of the day. Um. It has different settings on it. Let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like and what it does and so forth. Okay, so it looks like this. It's really small. It's low to the ground. It comes with the little headrest, the two little toys above. I'm going to show you guys the actual settings. And then the settings are here on the side. So this is like the little timer. It plays music, which Zaya loves to cut this on for her. It has different sounds um, and then this is the speed if you want it to go faster or slower um, the on and off button so that's basically it and then to close it I think it's on this side it's two buttons on both sides you just press them and it collapse it just the two legs come together so I highly recommend the swing she loves it and it's easy in case you want to take it anywhere with you like if I were to go over to my mom's for like a family function or something like that I probably would take this with me just so she would have something to be in another thing she loves are these actual wraps or swaddle blankets they're called actually um, I got these from is it copper pearl yes copper pearl I will actually link this down below in case you guys are interested in it I got three of them so I have other blankets as well. Like I've used muslin blankets with the other two girls, but I love these blankets so much better. They keep them swaddled so much better and tighter and they're so soft. The fabric feels like butter and she literally loves these things. So as soon as she gets them dirty, I go ahead and throw them in the wash because I only have three and I don't want to buy more because soon she's going to, you know, outgrow that swaddle stage. But I just love these. Another thing that I've been using a lot because she doesn't let me get anything done most of the time. Right now she's behaving, but um, any other time she's been like really fussy lately and I just can't do anything without holding her. So to save my arms and you know, you guys know I have two other children that I have to tend to, I need to actually wear her. So I have been using my wrap i actually have two um carriers i have this one which is the solely baby and it's just the plain gray and then i also got one of the harder um baby carriers oh, tula it's tula baby i highly recommend that one as well that one i actually have in my car so i take with us if we we're running to a store or something like that and i can just put her in there she loves that one as well this one i've just been keeping in the house to wear around the house so I can get things done. Okay, another thing I recommend is one of these little play mat activities. Right now she is still small, so she doesn't really play with it, but she is getting more alert and looking at things and just, she gets fascinated really quickly with things. So I do put her in here sometimes, or we do tummy time on here, and she really does enjoy it, especially these little toys like some of them have like little rattles and they just all make different noises or this one has like a little teether on it. So this one I actually purchased when Zaya was a baby. I think I purchased this at Target. Um, if you guys are interested in it, I can try to link it down below if they still have it. But yeah, and it also comes with like a um, 
little cushion thing, but I think that's upstairs. So Arla was having really bad like gas problems in the beginning. Um, just trying, I guess, trying to work out all her bowels and she was just very gassy. She spits up a lot too. It's getting better now, but if she doesn't get quite a few burps out, she will barf hard because sometimes she falls asleep after eating. So getting her to burp, I have to literally try to wake her up to burp her. But I did purchase these probiotic drops. This is actually by Mommy's Bliss. It's probiotic plus the vitamin D because she is exclusively breastfed. Um, I know that they have to have the vitamin D drops. So I went ahead and just bought this because probiotics is actually supposed to help them. I was giving her grip water in the beginning, but then when I realized that the probiotics actually helps them as well, I just went ahead and switched to this. Okay, so let's talk about some things that she hates. <laughs> If you guys have seen other vlogs from me, you know that she is not doing well with pacifiers. She hates them. <sighs> we have gone through all of these pacifiers and there's not one that she likes. This one, she actually takes sometimes. And when I mean sometimes, she's probably only used this binky maybe three times. So that's what I mean. Um, this one is actually the Ryan and Rose brand it's called a cutie pat i will go ahead and link this down below in case you guys are looking for pacifiers they're super cute and they have different ones they have this one and then i also got her this one from them and it's just like a flat type of nipple i got this one at first thinking that she would like this um but she doesn't and then i got this one this one was actually Zaya's. I had this one and she didn't use it. So I kept it trying to see it. Well, I kept it to see if Arlo would use it and she doesn't. Then I found this one. Um, this is just the Mams. Is that how you say it? Mam pacifier. This one I tried also. She didn't even give this one a chance either. This green one she got in the hospital. She took it in the hospital, but she just, she doesn't like it. And same with these. I, these are the Bibs brand. I got two of these. She took this in the hospital as well. But then after that, she didn't want anything to do with it. She's just been using me as her pacifier, basically. This is another product that she did not like. I was really hoping to use one of these little sacks for her instead of using just a regular swaddle blanket. But she doesn't like this. I don't know if it's because her hands were stuck up here or what. She really likes her hands like down here um, when I swaddle her or like on her sides. When I put this on her, I've tried it three times. She just screams. She does not like it. So I don't even recommend this. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Talking about bottles, she hasn't really taken bottles much I mean, because I have been. Oh, okay, okay, excuse me. Can I finish? Hey, 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 Zaya. Zaya, hey, Zaya, Zaya, look, look. Okay, so she hasn't really used bottles much. I mean, probably two or three, um, but she will take these. These are the Medela bottles. I actually got these because they go with my pump and then these are what the actual nipples look like. So she has taken these about two or three times for um, like if I had to leave her with Malcolm, which I think I only did once. And then I tried pumping and feeding her from a bottle, I think one or two other times after that. Um, and she will take this, so that is perfect. But usually she's just breastfed. Yeah, so just woke up. Hi, baby. Are you ready to eat? Are you ready to eat? Yes. <laughs> And zero to three, three months. She's actually getting a little too small for zero to three months. It's like a better fit if she's just in three months. Like she's growing so fast.
and her diapers are a size two. Like, I mean, she still has room in them, but they fit her so much better than a one. A one was getting pretty tight on her. So I just moved her up to a size two. When she was born, she was already in a size one. Newborn sizes were way too small for her. At her last pediatrician appointment, it was her one month checkup. She was 10 pounds and 10 ounces. Her birth weight was nine pounds, six ounces. And then when she went back a couple of days, I think it was like two days after we left the hospital, she had lost weight. So she was nine pounds, 4.6 ounces. And then she gained, gained weight. So her last appointment, she was 10 pounds, 10 ounces. But I know she's bigger than that now because this girl is chunky. Her sleep schedule has been pretty good, actually. Except for the last three days, she's been like not really sleeping during the day unless I'm holding her. Um, anytime I would put her down after she falls asleep, she would only sleep for like five to 10 minutes. But before then, she would take um, naps and then she'd sleep for like every, she'd sleep for like three hours or close to three hours and then she'd wake up and eat. During the night, she falls asleep at like around eight o'clock and then she'll wake up for her first feeding between three and four and then after that she'll wake up between six and seven and then after that it's like every three hours so i i have to say her nighttime schedule is pretty good so i really can't complain the only thing that i was struggling with is just not being able to get anything done during the day when it comes to like my house like I know that's the last thing I should be worried about, but clutter, a lot of clutter just drives me insane. And yes, Malcolm does help me, but you know, his expectations aren't, they're not the same as mine. So I've just been just dealing with it, doing as little as I can. Today she did sleep pretty good during the day. So I did get like laundry and stuff done. So I'm really glad about that feeding schedule she has been just breastfeeding I've been doing really good with that which I'm very proud of myself and her because her latch is great um I feel like I'm I am producing enough milk when I first came home from the hospital I was actually producing like a whole bunch and my boobs were hurting so bad I ended up having to pump or use the Haka and I have a pretty good freezer stash already that she hasn't even touched just because I haven't needed her to use that um, so yeah we definitely have plenty of milk there um, I feel like I'm producing enough I'm trying to eat a lot of foods that I have looked online that help with your milk supply I also have been eating like lactation cookies and brownies if you guys follow me over on Instagram you probably have heard me talked about them before um, I also eat just a lot of healthy foods that help with your milk supply a lot of oats I try to eat a lot of oatmeal or protein so that is it for Arlo's one month update. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new and I will see you in the next one. Can you say bye? Say thanks for watching.